Welcome everybody. Today I'm gonna show you another piece of my equipment. This is the C-Touch 4 Max from Divolk and is a housing for iPhone and Android. Last year at Dima, I met the guys from Divolk and they decided to give me as a present one of their housing. Uh, I told them, look guys, I'm not gonna really use it for uh, watching videos during the compression or uh, taking pictures uh, during my dives. But uh, what I can use it for maybe is to film my students. So I told them, if I find a nice way to use it, I'm gonna make a video about it. So today we're gonna see how this works and how we can use it during a training session. This is how it works. Our housing has cappy pins on the port so we don't lose them, fantastic idea. Then we have a soft touch screen, which is actually a double layer with gel inside. Also very, very cool. Then we have adapters for the different models of phones. The phones you have to put yours, it doesn't come with it. Then we have also adapters for outside the housing for accessories like tripods, lenses, lights. Personally, I just use it like this, naked, with just a little clip. All right, guys, now it's time to see how we can use this housing underwater. And here to help us, we have Eleonora. She's a good friend since a very long time. She's also a cave diver, a diving instructor, a free diver, a lot of qualifications. <laughs> um, now, I didn't want to do this with a real student because uh, I have to focus on the student when I'm teaching, okay? So I can feel them for sure, but I don't want them to have the pressure of being uh, in a production. So we are going to simulate a couple of scenarios uh, like it would be one of my courses. We are going to do two simulations. Number one, an evaluation of your equipment setup, which is what I do first day of side mount uh, diving. Uh, I'm going to go around with the camera and I'm going to show you later during the debriefing how your equipment looks like. Because if you want to modify it, we don't usually modify it underwater, we do it after and it's gonna be ready for the next day. The second scenario is gonna be swimming backward. This is really where it becomes useful to see underwater what is happening. Because, mm -hmm. well, I'm gonna ask you maybe to do a frog kick with a mistake. Okay, yeah. And then we try to correct it as I do during my courses. Okay, and then after I'm gonna ask you uh, your opinion about how you feel about this uh, kind of uh, training. Perfect. Okay, let's go guys. how your equipment looks like yeah obviously there is nothing major that needs to be fixed this is how it was your back kick at the end okay after uh, we correct the mistake that that I asked her to do because Eleonora knows how to swim back of course I told you we are just simulating a class okay but now my honest question is do you find it useful to see yourself in a video to see your equipment oh yeah it was very nice okay yeah. and uh, uh, did you like my drawing <laughs> It was very, very nice actually because he, he opened up another page, show him like a draw and he could text and give me some explanations. I think that using other apps of the phone other than the camera, like 
writing on the whiteboard and all this stuff is very useful. And I think that the most important value for the student is the direct feedback of what he's doing. So, Eleonora, thank you for uh, being part of my project. Thank and you. guys, I'll see you next time.